morning from Florida, guys. Good morning. Thank you, Five. I am. Of course, I get here and there's a big hurricane coming this week, but we'll deal with that when the time comes. It looks like it's coming Thursday morning and I'm leaving on Thursday. <laughs> That's great. My mom's here, guys. Say hi. Girly. Mm, These are going to be such fun vlogs. I'm really excited for this because everybody wanted more vlogs with you. And I get to spend the week with my parents third wheeling. Oh, but don't, don't. The back is being wallpapered. Everything's a mess back here. You oh, I know. I know. If anybody from the family is watching, they want me to do a completed house toward the end. I know. Oh, and do you like my um, Floridian suntan? You do pumpkin up in the fall. We do suntan. Oh, bar. really? That's yeah, hysterical. Love, you know what I love? The smell of that candle. I heard Danielle and you talking about candles. Yeah. Do you like autumn? Do you like leaves? Do you like whatever? And I, was, and I know that it's leaves that you like, by the way, but you did say it. I just did that thing where I go and buy the soaps. I really am turning into you. I was like, oh, I need a few soaps. And then I went and did the five for 25. I was like, why do I need, I have two sinks in my apartment. Why, why do I need five, five fall soaps? I actually have a suggestion for the marketing of Bath and Body Works. Okay, wait. I think that they should do double size pumps. Double size pumps. Like, don't, like the, oh, they're and so skimpy. Yeah. They're so wimpy. If you go at it hard, it could fall yeah. over. Like, give me, I'll pay double the price. But give me some girth to it. <laughs> yeah, I know what you mean. <laughs> We're running out the door also because we have a appointment at the Apple store. Pineapple? Do you want to eat the pineapple and I'll eat the strawberries? Sure. That's but will you eat it? Yeah, I'll eat it. I don't really eat breakfast though. I know. Should we wait till then we'll... Yeah, yeah, yeah that's fine. We're running out because my mom made an apple appointment at the Apple Millennia. That's what it's called. 45 minute drive. We're getting her new phone, new computer. Like she needed everything. And I was like, you know what? I'm here to help because you guys know setting up all that stuff literally takes like a day so yeah she's literally spending one of her days thank you helping Did, are you me your computer up. speaking of which don't you see what i have in my bed like so i don't walk in holding the computer last time i did that you almost i separated hate. From hate, life. hate when my mom does that. She will walk wearing a little tiny person holding her computer. Okay, you ready? Yes, out for the day, cuts tea. These are shorts from Fashion Pass um, and sneakers. I was gonna wear something more interesting, but it just didn't work and I slept in and I was rushed to get ready. So let's go to the mall. I love being here. This is amazing service at my coffee waiting for me. I'm never leaving. I've just come to realize that this might be the best mall ever. Like, you might be able to find your shoes there. Oh, I told my mom I'm looking for a. We just kind of saw them. They're like a pointed toe, either open back or sling back. Yeah. It was like a sling back, and the heel was feminine but small. Because, you know, some of those small heels get a little dicey. But it was perfect. My mom just backed up her phone. She got a new phone, new laptop, one of those days. to lunch and now we're doing some more shopping you didn't get it oh you got one thing at lush but that's it it's so beautiful number one and then they, this is like the designer wing where they have literally every designer store under the sun it's gorgeous this mall must be new right and now we're waiting in line at chanel just to look oh i might have to do it <laughs> it's so nice with the two straps too does this move the strap or no i don't think so well, we had a day at the mall and I made a big purchase, which I'll show you when we get back, but it was the bag that my mom tried on. Well, I tried it on, but and then I had her wear it to see what it looked like. And I love it. What a gorgeous day that we spent all inside. <laughs> so cute. Everything's like local. My parents are giving me a tour. This is Celebration, where we used to come when I was younger, and we would like, what, like go to dinner here, like yes. hang out, whatever. Shop. Shop, In yeah. Fact, Brooke, that's now a Starbucks. Yeah. You used to only be able to be like, like local stuff, yeah, yeah. Exactly. I remember they used to have artificial snow in this area. Like, one in the leaves. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Because it's like Florida, so yes. they don't actually have like snow or leaves or anything. But they, oh my God, I remember that. Okay, hey, let's open her up. So excited. We're opening it up. 
How gorge. She's beautiful. So it comes with a long strap too. This is the long strap. I'll show you in a sec. Sorry, I was filming for the reel, so I didn't get to show you guys, but here she is. <laughs> I was like trying to make that all like aesthetic and everything. I'm trying my best. Okay. So this is the Chanel Deville Toe, D-E-A-U-V-I-L-L-E. -E. So the way the woman explained it is that this is in the like permanent collection or whatever. However, they change out the colors all the time. So this is the color. It's like this gorgeous... I don't even know what we want to call it, like tan, but let me see if they gave me the color name so I can help you out. I just see this being used all the time. I do have another tan-ish purse that I'm like thinking of, but I feel like this is more really practical for everything. And it has the longer strap, which I really like. I see just the practicality of the uses for this. It fit my mom's laptop in it. So I'm not quite sure if it will fit mine, but it fits like a lot of stuff. It will fit my vlog camera. It will fit, you know, if I need to bring my planner, like any sort of like if I'm going to like a meeting or whatever, it will fit. And I love it. I need practical bags. That's my thing. I, you know, I, so I feel like this is a really, really practical one for me. Yeah, it's, uh, it says beige is the, so it's the large shopping 30 centimeter in beige. The taxes in Florida are a little bit less than New York too. So that's how I justified it. But honestly, the shopping experience was just so premium. I'm so, so happy with it. Um, and it comes with this little guy on the inside, which you could use as a little clutch or something. If you wanted to, you can disconnect it. But I think that's so cute to keep like your little hand sanitizers or whatever in. Um, I'm really going to try to keep this like perfectly clean because I wanted to stay in like premium condition. And I love it. And I'm so happy with it. Good purchase today. All right. Now we're going to go get ice cream. We finish up dinner. <laughs> I'm just living the life. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, we might have to leave in like a day. So that's TBD. Um, I obviously take it very seriously but like when i was on the plane it was like oh it might still be a tropical storm whatever and now i guess we're looking and it's getting pretty much worse and worse at least for this area so we're like hmm, that's not good so we're figuring that out still wearing the cut shirt and i just changed into these spanx uh pants i just realized that the colors kind of clash but i literally don't care because we're just going to get ice cream my parents are taking me to this place called twisty treat that's what it's called i'll show you guys I, it, they look like the actual like places of them look like big cones if you guys live in like central florida you're probably like yeah i know all of this stuff that you're doing today <laughs> so it's a fun vlog for you floridians and if not maybe you're enjoying it too my mom just broke the news to me that she's been wearing these shoes out she, she put them on i was like oh like just to run to go get ice cream and you're like no i've been wearing them <laughs> a lot like do you wear them with like full outfits no like no i'll wear them like like if i'm going to get my hair done yeah no it looks it's a look i mean um, do you know where i got these um when we almost went on that trip no when i went on the trip <laughs> oh, yeah. you did not peek. that was like a year ago i was so i'm so disappointed it was when i was invited on that brand trip to, to charleston and i was coming from Aspen and I didn't mom. make it. So I got to, So my mom went though. I got to have hush one. puppies on my own. Yeah. Literally where we're going. I feel like we're going to like a, like a Disney attraction. <laughs> Morning guys. Next day uh, we got our ice cream last night. We came home and I helped my mom set up her new computer, which is lovely. She got the new MacBook Air. It's just so easy to set up computers these days, like, um, and phones and everything, just with the iCloud backup transfers and everything. I remember it taking so long when I was younger, and you'd have to go, and they would, like, take the phone to the back room, and you were like, what are they doing with it? Anyways, it's a lot easier now. So this is my fit for today. Um, this is a Cuts crop tee. I'm, like, living the Cuts. I packed, like, all of my Cuts tees on the strip. And then a Spanx white squirt, and then I'm bringing my new bag, which we love. It fits my vlog camera perfectly. And we are going to Books a Million and to go get a coffee. My dad and I both are readers. He reads nonfiction. But I was reading this book, The Light We Lost. Um, and for some reason, this is the only book that I brought with me. I just purchased The Nightingale too, but I didn't bring that on my trip with me. For some reason, I didn't think I'd be reading a lot, but it seems like I am going to be reading a lot. And my dad was like, hey, I could use a bookstore trip too. So I was like, hey, let's go to the bookstore together. We're going to just have a little morning. I think my mom's going to ride along with too. That is it. I'm going to put on my white sneakers and yeah. My mom has to film for uh, QVC today. So she set out all the Christmas stuff because it's Christmas for QVC. And my dad is painting lots of house progress in here which is so exciting i think we're going out to dinner later tonight it's just been a lovely time but we do have to figure out what we're doing because of this hurricane i think that's like tomorrow's problem there's a new nicholas sparks book here is the books a million hall it's basically barnes and noble borders if you guys remember that i got some books 
two books the other day at like a local New York City store. I just love a good bookstore, honestly. I love going and looking and like shopping and it was so fun to go with my mom and my dad too. And I got some good stuff. A repeat purchase because we're getting my mom back into reading. She is not a reader like at all. I think that she's read, I have to think about the past like few years, but she doesn't read really. I feel like growing up, I remember her like sometimes reading like, like a Nicholas Sparks book or like she read a lot of nonfiction like business books and stuff when I was younger. But then she's been so busy with work and stuff. She hasn't been reading. And she was like, okay, Brooke, fine. You got me, I'm influenced. I will get a book. Just tell me which one to get. And I was like, all right, I'm gonna give you the same recommendation that I give to everybody when they get back into reading, which is Last Mrs. Parrish. I think that my copy of this, I'm, I'm pretty positive I gave it to a friend. And nonetheless, she's gonna be reading it here in Florida. So we're gonna like leave it down here. If you haven't read it, perfect thriller, a little bit of romance in there too. Crazy twists and turns. It really keeps you on the edge of your seat. So I feel like this is a great book to get back into reading with. So got that for her. I don't think it's gonna be like today or tomorrow that she's reading. She's pretty busy with work, but maybe when she has like, I guess it is the weekend, but she works on Sunday. But at some point, hopefully she'll be able to read that. All right, then we have Confess by Colleen Hoover. I heard a lot about this and I'm trying to eventually work through reading all of her books. I feel like I read like the really, really big ones at this point. I generally like all of the Colleen Hoover books I read. I thought this would be good. This is what my dad got. Paul Tanley, Backstage Pass. If anybody cares, it was on sale. He was like, oh, it's on sale. I got another Taylor Jenkins read book. I actually finished, I finished Carrie, Carrie Soto is back. I liked it. I think I gave it a 3.5 out of five. A steadily good book, but it didn't really do it for me to the point that I would be like, oh, you have to read it. I liked your other books more. So I think that's why I rated it what I did, but I did like it. And like, I found it, you know, easy to read, whatever but it was very like slow and steady, you know, not many twists and turns, which I like a little bit of a twist, you know? So I got this one by her that people recommended, One True Loves. I think this is, is this older of hers? Yeah, this is from 2016. Breathtaking new love story about a woman unexpectedly forced to choose between the husband she long thought dead and the fiance who has finally brought her back to life. Cool. And then I got this one, The Wife Upstairs by Rachel Hawkins. I can't believe I never read this. They had a whole section that was like psychological thrillers. And I was like, hmm, I've read a good amount of these, but you know, there's some that I haven't, and this is one of them. A vivid re-imaging of one of literature's most twisted love triangles. The wife upstairs flips the script on Jane Eyre in a timeless tale of forbidden romance, ill-advised attraction, and a wife who just won't stay buried. Oh, that sounded great. I feel like I saw, I could be wrong on this, but Bianca Franco, who love her videos, TikTok, etc. She's so sweet. Um, I feel like I saw her talk about this. And then I got, wow, there's just a lot of wives. Oh my God, a lot of these psychological thrillers is always like, you know, it's about like a wife or something. So then, then I got the wife between us. Jaw-dropping psychological thriller, unforgettable twists. When you read this book, you will make many assumptions. You will assume you're reading about a jealous ex-wife. You will assume she's obsessed with her replacement, a beautiful younger woman about to marry the man that they both love. You will assume you know the anatomy of this tangled love triangle, assume nothing. Twisted and deliciously chilling the wife between us explores the hidden complexities of marriage with the dangerous truths we ignore in the name of love. Read between the lies. All right, so those are the four books I got. And then we got my mom one, my dad one, and that was fun. I'm pretty much gonna read all day. I have to film a little bit for a brand, but I kind of wanted to shower and stuff before I do that. It's like kind of a cloudy day. We still need to make our hurricane plan. I think that will be decided tomorrow, but I think we might leave tomorrow too. Um, we have a car down here and my dad was like, let's just drive home, like literally back to Long Island, which is a really big drive. Um, but I guess that they don't wanna be here. We don't have a generator here. Like our stove is electric. It just wouldn't be a good situation to be down here, especially if we don't have to be, which we're obviously really fortunate that we have somewhere else to go. But just like for our safety, like why would we challenge that if we don't have to and apparently the power the last time there was a hurricane down here the power was out in this particular area for like a really long time and that simply just wouldn't be good with that being said i think we might leave tomorrow or tuesday because the storm is technically supposed to come i think like wednesday thursday we're supposed to go to disney this week it's all good you know safety first it looks like the florida trip will be cut short all right i'm gonna do some reading of the book that i'm currently reading the light we lost i heard a lot about this one too that's the theme of a lot of these books it's like finally reading the books that everyone told me about we're chilling in this outside room there's little geckos there cuties They're on the outside and I'm gonna read my book and chill out here for a while. It's interesting because it's like, you know, like the indoor outdoor feel, but I'm sitting on this couch. My mom is inside. She's gonna do QVC soon. Hello. Just got ready for dinner. We're going to dinner at like a steakhouse. My mom, my dad and I. Um, shirt is Aritzia. The skirt is Princess Polly. And then I'm wearing some like little Revolve heels. Trying to decide how I want the shirt to like sort of hang on me. Like, do I wanna 
do some sort of like little tuck situation or whatever. I feel like I'm still playing around with that. Cause I feel like if it's like looser, it like looks better. I took a nap, I did light makeup, floor light. guys it's monday i am in bed drinking my duncan and i was like i need to end off this vlog we still don't know if we're leaving today tomorrow the storm i think it's getting like a little weaker but we don't really have stuff here so it's like i'm not really sure what to do but we'll figure it out and you'll see that in the next vlog or follow me on instagram at brooke Michio. but thank you guys so much for watching this vlog for all of your support and i hope you enjoy spending some days in florida with me love you guys bye